this episode of the Civil War Digital Digest. I'm your host, Jeremy, as we continue our exploration of women's sleeves in the mid-19th century. And I'm here with Jackie Jacobs as we hit that next topic, which is going to be closed sleeves. So Jackie, let's get started with what's the meaning of a closed sleeve? A closed sleeve would be a sleeve that would be tight or close around the wrist. And it doesn't matter if cuffed or uncuffed. Cuffed or uncuffed, either. Uh, The examples that I have here today, we have two coat sleeves. They are a two-piece sleeve that are shaped in their cut to almost a semicircle, you know, type of um, construction. It has an upper sleeve and an under sleeve. So two pieces of fabric. Two pieces of fabric stitched together at the inside and at the outside of the elbow. Then we have a three-quarter sleeve that is a cuffed sleeve with a little bit of uh, eyelet around the bottom of it. It is tight at the arm's eye and it is a tighter sleeve all the way down. Mm -hmm. Then we have our cuffed full sleeve which is closed. It closes with a, a hook and eye and then it is very full cut on a bias and it has little pleats at the arm's eye so that it lays flatter. Then the next sleeve is a cuffed sleeve, but it does not have a hook and eye closure. Very full, has lots of beautiful pin tucks at the top of it, and it's gathered so it is very full. But it is the same fullness at the wrist as it is at the, sh- at the arm's eye. Okay, so it's gathered. So it's gathered at the wrist and at the arm's eye. And then we have the what used to be a chrome yellow uh, dress, and it has the closed sleeve at the bottom with uh, little Van Dykes, and it is um, what's called a Jigot sleeve. And you see that sleeve throughout history. So Jigot is a French term. It's a French You're term. You're sharing French with us once I'm again. I'm sharing French again. <laughs> and that means a very fuller. It's open. a fuller okay. sleeve, yes. <clears throat> and it's gathered and to go into the arm's eye. And then we have what I would consider more of a bishop sleeve, and it is closed at the wrist and fuller at the elbow, and then gathered into the arm's eye um, onto a fitted uh, little cuff on the inside. And what about this one here next to you? And this is kind of a modified type of sleeve. It originally was a more open sleeve, uh, and the person decided, as um, we talked about, it was a personal preference on your sleeve. She has taken this sleeve right here and done a little bit of modifying where she actually took and made a little tuck and brought it over and then stitched it down so that it brings it closer around the wrist. So that definitely reinforces the personal preference piece. Started off one way and she decided she wanted that one yes. closed. Or it could have been that for one person it was a certain preference to have a more open sleeve and for someone else it could have been that they and wanted the it more closed. All right. So definitely a wide range, closed sleeve. We have coat, we have bishop, we have very full, we have very narrow. So closed again is about the actual opening, not necessarily the The opening at the wrist. Okay. So Jackie, thank you again for bringing out your original collection to share with us and provide some of the knowledge on the clothing of the time period and also throwing in a little bit of French here and there for us to learn as well. Thank you for watching this episode of the Civil War Digital Digest. I hope you're enjoying the sleeve series and if you are, please hit that like button and share it out with your friends. And we also like to say thank you to our patrons. Thank you.